I'm Sterling Hilton, and here I am dancing in the second movement of Justin Peck's Everywhere We Go. The music was composed by Sufjan Stevens, and this particular movement, it is called Happiness is a Perfume. So a lot of the movements I'm doing here with my partner, Andrew Vallette, I like to think that I'm very light, as light as a scent of perfume, preferably a not too sweet one, I suppose. Everywhere We Go has nine movements in total. And I remember when this ballet was being choreographed, we worked on each movement separately. And I remember the very first day that we all were able to be in one room together and see all the movements that everybody had been working on. That is a moment I will never forget for the rest of my life. And it was just incredibly exciting because each movement was as delightful as the next. This re-entrance is probably my favorite moment of the ballet and especially of this movement. The music really touches me and I'm about to just go flying. The lift coming up right here, he pulls me with so much force and then catches me. And for a moment, I completely feel weightless. It's just, it's a wonderful feeling. <laughs> Andy does a lot of hard work here. <laughs> When we stop and look at the wings, it's our rest moment before it sort of all turns up again. And I always say hello to Tyler Peck, <laughs> or we, I don't say hello, I, we smile at each other because she's about to enter for the third movement. For a lot of these lifts and tricky partnering moves in this movement, Andy and I worked with Justin to create all of it. Sometimes it was very clear, he says, I want this, and sometimes it's something we had to work on together. So it was very much hands-on, and it really helps that Justin Peck himself is a wonderful partner. It helped mold the movement how it is and sort of create these really exciting jumps and lifts. In this moment, I always look up, and I, I basically am saying hello to the lighting guys <laughs> up there, <laughs> the follow spots. At the end of this movement, it almost doesn't have a definite ending, and it transitions really seamlessly into the third movement of this ballet.